This right here is our finished set. Today is going to be so fun because we are doing a lot of camera movement in this scene. I know you guys have been waiting for this episode for a while now. Camera movement's a big deal. I feel like I'm the only one excited. And I got a few other comments as well that I want to answer in this video at the same time. One of those being a comment from Seabricks 2.0. I really need to change my name because these names are so cool. Seabricks commented, can you give me some tips on running? Well, you are in luck, Seabricks, because we are doing a lot of running in this scene. And especially in this first shot. Hoagie Edits commented, how do you design your minifigures when storyboarding? It's actually a pretty good question because for this shot, I had to design a new minifigure. When I go to create a character, right away I consider the tone of the film. So in this film, I wanted them to be in dark clothing, but I also wanted it to be nice clothing. And the most important thing is their hairpiece and their face because you want them to look the part. The new character that I just designed, I wanted him to have a scary outfit on and also just like a scruffy beard and like this blue hair. I'd say a big part of it is just going through your minifigs and just see what works and see what doesn't work, see what colors don't match and all that. Now, let's animate this zoom shot. Got my trusty iPhone mount. Let's tighten that on the table here. Everyone watching did get one of these, didn't they? Please tell me you got one. So for the zoom shot, we're just starting right at the door. He hits the door and the camera is going to zoom out one frame at a time. Here we go. We're taking the first pick. Okay, and let's move the camera very, very slightly. And it's okay to take this part slow because even if he gets right up to the camera before it's even moving fast enough, if we've started with slow movement, then it's going to be fine because then we could just jack up the movements and make them faster and it's going to be okay. So you can see here as we're backing the camera up, we're getting faster movements and faster movements each frame. Once you get to about eight to 12 frames then you can go with a really really big movement because we've been working our way up this whole time you're not going to notice a big frame it's actually going to look pretty good okay let's start slowing it down now because we've got enough movement in those last few frames just like that all right let's watch it and talk about it Okay, so you can see, obviously, in this shot, we're trying to reveal the whole set, like show the whole facility. And that's because we might be asking, where are we now? Are we at his house? Are we at his mom's house? Nobody knows. So helping the viewer understand where we're at helps them connect with the scene a little better. All right, guys, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to get on to some other shots. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to be doing more animation. Huge fight scene here in a little bit. See you then. Bye.